Hello, everyone. I'm sad. I'm really sad. Okay, so I recorded myself cooking my Easter dinner. Um, it was delicious. Chef's kiss. And uh, my phone kind of died halfway through. Well, it didn't technically die. Uh, about five minutes in, the little notification saying I had 20% battery left popped up. And when that pops up, your phone doesn't record anymore. I did not see this for an hour and a half. So, uh, for an hour and a half, I was cooking, talking to you guys. I was making this beautiful dish, which I'll explain about in a second, and it was not recorded except for the first five minutes where I kind of talk about the meal and you see me pull out an onion. And then the last 10 minutes where you see me finish making up the meal and eating it and telling you guys how I think it is. So, sorry, rum, rum walk by. I will be showing you what I have. I was really excited about it and I love it so much. If you want to see me make this dish again so you guys can actually see me make it, uh, just let me know and I will gladly do it again because it was so delicious. Um, but yeah, so basically I made pasta. Well, I didn't make pasta. I store bought pasta, my favorite noodle. I'll talk about it in the video. It's very important. Um, but I made a homemade sauce that I found, well, I didn't find it on TikTok. I had my little sister scour TikTok to look for a recipe for me. And so we found this pasta dish. And then since that pretty much just like cooked in the oven and then finished up on the stove with the surprised thing, I like texted my parents and I was like, what can I have with it? And so I made homemade meatballs. <laughs> So the sauce is pretty easy. I've made sauces before. Usually I take it off as like a store-bought pasta sauce base and then I make it from there. But this I like made from scratch the sauce, um, but it was TikTok, so it was super easy. Like it was the one where you, it's like the tomatoes and the feta cheese block and then you put it in the oven for a certain amount of time and then stir it. It was, oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, but so to like step it up a bit, I did make homemade meatballs. Um, with 85% lean ground beef and ground pork, a pound of each. So I have a lot of meatballs left over because I only put like three in my dish. But man, it was delicious. Um, but I am really sad when I saw that I didn't have the whole video. I like was crying to my parents. Hi, mom. Hi, yes. <laughs> also the last 10 minutes so you get the first five minutes and then it cut off and then the last 10-ish minutes i cut the thoughts out of me just like walking around and doing nothing um so those time like the last chunk since my phone was on 20 percent battery it didn't record as well so it's a little more grainy it's a little more pixelated and i'm sorry about that you can still hear me loud and clear you can still like see me it's just not as clear like definition that the first part of the video is or even this part of the video um so i apologize for that in the future i will be sure to not play on my phone all day that i have to record a cooking video and i will make sure that my phone is charged so that this does not happen again oh my god i'm gonna start crying i am i'm like i am devastated i am very upset i'm gonna start crying oh my gosh this is nothing to cry about jessica oh my gosh i just i was really proud of this meal I worked really hard. I haven't cooked in a really long time. And the fact that I made homemade meatballs from scratch, kind of with a recipe. It was with a recipe. I kind of swayed. But it was with a recipe. I'm crying. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to cry. I didn't even think I was going to cry. I just, I'm really proud of this. And I hope you, I'm crying. I'm so sorry. And I hope you enjoy this video. Okay. Well. On to the parts of the video that I have. Bye. I texted my little sister and was like, hey, can you send me some TikTok recipes? So she texted me a few. So I'm making a pasta sauce from TikTok and then I'm making some homemade meatballs with my favorite noodle. Yeah? You can't help me out, okay? So, currently, we're waiting for my oven to preheat. It's kind of a crappy oven, so we'll see how this goes. So, 
So for my first recipe, I'm going to need, technically it's a block of feta cheese. I couldn't find a block of feta cheese at Target. Target is really letting me down. So here's some feta cheese crumbles. I hope that works. I got some sangria tomatoes. Ooh. And then we've got olive oil and then salt and pepper. Very thrilling, I know. Okay. So my pasta sauce recipe, it takes the longest to cook. Um, it's 35 minutes in the oven, so I figured I'd start that one first. And then we can move on to my meatballs. Oh! Rigatoni noodles. It's my favorite noodle. Noodles. I just think a rigatoni noodle holds the sauce so much better than the penne. I feel like a penne noodle just really holds water. Rum is gonna jump over here in a second. But penne's noodles just hold so much water and they just let go of the sauce. I feel like rigatoni noodles let go of the water and really just like soak up the sauce. Ya hear me? Okay. I did actually print off recipes this time. Look at me and go. <laughs> okay, so I have my two pints of tomatoes. I do need, so it called for eight ounces of feta. Um, this is 12 ounces, so I think I'm gonna, that's why I have my handy dandy scale. I know I'm like a real cook. I have a scale. Maybe I'll put it in. I'm gonna put it in the bowl and I'm gonna make the meatballs in later because I'm putting a feta cheese in the meatballs on. Also, I'm actually wearing an apron today. Okay, so I need eight ounces of feta cheese. Mm, yummy! Wow, that's eight on the dot. Look at me go. Eight ounces of feta cheese. And now this can wait for the meatballs. So I know technically this isn't in like a block, but I hope it's fine. I hope it works still. We'll see how it goes. So I don't normally cook with my hair down. I don't like it. So I think I'm gonna put it up. So next time you see me, it almost like would be up. Okay, while I am waiting for that to heat up, I think I'm gonna start. Prepping my meatball stuff. Just put the cheese over here. So it says I need half a cup of finely minced yellow onion. Okay, it's not gonna be finely minced, but whatever. Okay, this stopped, I think this stopped at some point. I don't know when it's, okay, wait, let me just put you in. Okay, y'all stopped at some point. I don't know when you stopped, but like that meatball's cooked. Some of these meatballs, like some of these meatballs look really good. And I'm proud of myself. I have no idea if they're cooked on the inside. It's a big if. But we'll see how it goes. There's also some like chunks of just the breading that did fall off. I'm gonna just eat those. Put some plate on some pasta. What? No, I put some pasta on a plate. The rest of the pasta went into a container into the fridge. Cheese. 
was waiting to put the sauce on. With some meatballs finished. <laughs> Meatballs should be done. Okay, I'm transferring some of these meatballs to the container they're gonna sit in. All right, so when I wanna like reheat up these meatballs, like they're just gonna be in the fridge and I'm just gonna eat them. So. I'll probably just like stick them in the oven or like pan fry them again. Everything is off. Okay, good. Wow. I guess I'll try my pasta. Let's just hold you like that. Okay, I'm actually pretty excited for this. So I'm just gonna Rum is everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna break off a piece of a meatball. Meatballs are cooked. Okay, there was too many noodles. It's so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, the meatballs are delicious. This is gonna be ball on its own. Even though it's just smothered in the sauce. Yeah. The meatballs are fully cooked. They're so, oh my gosh, they're so good. I can't believe I have delicious home cooked meatballs. And this sauce is so good. This sauce is super easy. It's so creamy. It's definitely a cream sauce. And like the acidity from the tomatoes is just like, oops, run away. It's fine. It's delicious. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend. If you guys want the recipes for either the sauce or these meatballs, I just found them online. Well, okay. The sauce is on TikTok, the meatball online. It's so good. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so I'm so happy. Mm, yeah, well, even though I'm not posting this on Easter, happy Easter. If you liked this video, I was very stressed during it. I'm sweating. Please like the video down below and leave any comments that you have about my cooking or what you want me to cook next or if you want these recipes. So yeah, just let me know about that. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you can be subscribed to my channel and become a part of my family. Yay. And I very much appreciate it. And hit that bell notification so you can be hiccup. So you can be notified every time I, I post a new video. Okay. And so happy Easter, even though I'm not posting this on Easter. It is Easter for me, and this is my Easter dinner. I'm so happy it turned out good. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys all have a very blessed day and a very blessed week. Bye.